Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, regenerating, renewing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. Let us help you change your life. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, family members, workmates, friends. Today... Give us a call, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We can help you wean yourself off your meds and get, a good, get on a good nutritional supplement program. There's always good nutritional strategies for whatever your health challenge is, especially long-term chronic degenerative health challenges. There's no drug strategies, folks. There's no medical strategies that can help you reverse a long-term chronic degenerative disease, but there's lots of nutritional strategies, and we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, recommended on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can also head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and purchase products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. And if you're interested in checking out our True Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% gel made with lots of vitamin C, made without preservatives, without fragrances, without fillers and waters and waxes and things your skin doesn't need, only all my Truth treatment products, all my Truth formulations are made with only ingredients that your skin can use, only ingredients that are functional and active. And you can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking vitamin E and Alzheimer's disease and neuroprotection. Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in this country now responsible for untold amount of misery. Nearly half of the adults over age 85 have Alzheimer's disease. Out of uh, nearly 6 million people with Alzheimer's disease, a lot of them don't even know they have Alzheimer's disease because there's no real way to detect it because there's no such thing as Alzheimer's disease. It's a made-up disease. There's no real markers for Alzheimer's disease. After you die, they can look in your brain and they can see messed up brain cells. There's no real way to mark it, although recently there's been some folks thinking that by uh, checking your saliva they could find stress hormones that may be related to dementia. But for the most part, there's no way to detect Alzheimer's disease because there's no such thing as Alzheimer's disease. What there is is rotting brain cells. This is so important, this distinction between cells and disease. And that's why vitamin E is so important. Vitamin E doesn't really do anything for disease, but it is a cell's best friend. The body's composed of cells and stuff. That's all we are, is cells and stuff. Cells and the stuff the, uh, st- cells and the stuff the cells make. That's what we are. We're cells and stuff that comes out of the cells, like a Play-Doh extruder machine. Just like when you were a kid, you put Play-Doh in the top, you press the crank, and out come different shapes. That's what a cell does. Yes, that's simplistic, but that's basically what it's about. A cell is a Play-Doh extruder machine. It's extruding proteins, mostly, but other things too. 
when we're sick, there's something wrong with how that cell is extruding. There's something wrong with the extrusions. This is so important. The health of our body, first and foremost, depends on the extruder machine, on the cells, not the stuff. Doctors work on the stuff that comes out of the cells. Doctors work on the, the secondary materials because they're not allowed in the cells. The cell is sacred space, folks. The cell is holy, sacred space, and we need to begin to think about it that way. A cell is ridiculously complicated, ridiculously vital and life-filled. Billions of reactions are happening every minute. How do billions of chemical reactions happen every minute? Millions every second. How can this possibly occur? Well, it does. Without our busy body interfering, all we got to do is eat and breathe and make sure we're not swimming in toxicity, all of which we're, we've screwed up. We don't eat right, we don't breathe right, and we bombard our bodies with toxicities. Of course the extruder machine cells are going to be sick. And then the doctor will fix the, the stuff that comes out, or he'll, he'll kill the stuff that comes out, or he'll take something out of the body. Doctors, like everybody else, don't recognize this distinction between cells and stuff. That's why they're perfectly fine with treating disease by removing and manipulating stuff, taking out organs. Dermatology and plastic surgery are the worst, by the way. I've been working with dermatologists for years now. They'll actually inject stuff into the skin. If you're not making enough collagen, if you're, you're collagen-making cells, your you're, uh, uh, fiber-making extruder machines are messed up and collagen doesn't come out or it comes out defectively, they'll actually inject it. We'll actually go for a procedure where they will, where they, they will inject stuff into our skin. On the other hand, while the doctor's not welcome into the cell, while the medical model is barred, rejected from this sacred domain of the biological cell that makes up our bodies, God's welcome through food, through nutrition, through oxygen. Not to mention through more abstract elements like our emotions and our, our thoughts, which get transferred into hormones. Hormones, by the way, act as little switches that turn on the extruder machine. Thoughts, emotions, feelings, food, nutrition, Detoxification, I, I don't really like that word detoxification, but avoiding toxicity, this is how the body's meant to be healthy. This is such good news. If you have a chronic degenerative disease, this should be the best news you've ever heard. It means that we can heal ourselves. This is so amazing. If you have diabetes, you can reverse it. If you have Alzheimer's disease, you can slow down its progression and reverse it. If you have cancer, do you know cancer can be reversed? Remissions occur. Yes. They've been occur we've known about cancer remissions for hundreds of years. Uh, certainly autoimmune disease. There's some 30, 40, maybe 50 million people that have autoimmune diseases, type 2, type uh, 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis. All of these things are reversible. All of these things even if you don't reverse it, you can slow down its progression, but not with a drug, not with a doctor. This is a hypnotic trance we're under, that we think that a doctor can do anything for us. And I'm not ripping on doctors here. I'm ripping on the model. No one has cancer. We have cells that have switched into cancer growth. No one has heart disease, but lots of people have sick heart cells. No one has diabetes. We have sick pancreas cells or we have sick cells everywhere that aren't responding to the garage door opening effects of insulin, of the hormone insulin. No one has respiratory disease. Do you know respiratory disease is like the third or fourth leading cause of death in this country? And no one has respiratory disease. People have sick respiratory cells. See the distinction we're making here. If you think you have this thing called respiratory disease, you're like, what the heck do I do? But if you realize that it's just lung cells that are messed up, and it's really in that way, no different than liver cells that are messed up when you have hepatitis or liver disease, or skin cells that are messed up when you have psoriasis or skin disease, or heart cells that are messed up when you have heart disease, it simplifies everything. And that really is what this is all about. Simplification. Simplexity. I love that word, simplexity. I'll tell you what that is when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Farm Ben. Got lines open for you. 236 6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, skin health issues, skin care product questions, formulations, ingredients, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, I'd love hearing those. Or if you just have, just would like to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking about Alzheimer's disease, vitamin E. Vitamin E is neuroprotective, one of the best vitamins for the brain cells, maybe I don't want to say the most important, but it's on the it's in the uh, top ten. That's for sure. If you're dealing with dementia issues, memory issues, cognitive impairment, or you have a loved one or friend or family member who's dealing with any kind of mental health issues, get them on vitamin E. Mix to cofferols, mix tocotrienols. There's eight different kinds of vitamin E, as we've said in the past. Alzheimer's disease, big problem. Number of people with Alzheimer's disease may triple by 2050, according to. The uh, journal Neurology, the medical journal, the American Academy of Neurology, this increase is due to an aging baby boom generation. No, it's not. This increase is due to us not taking care of ourselves, to eating the way we're eating. And by the way, don't buy into the silliness about the genetics of it. Oh, you have the gene. Oh, it's in your family. This, you know, there's a lot of misunderstanding in the world of health and nutrition, but really, there's nothing that's more misunderstood than genetics. If anybody ever tells you the gene for this or the gene for that, if you ever hear that phrase, gene for this, oh, it's the gene for Alzheimer's disease. Oh, you have the gene for breast cancer. They don't know what they're talking about. That's not how genes work. It's not like you have a gene for this and a gene for that. This is cartoon talk. This is baby talk. Gen- genetics is incredibly complicated, number one. Genes are networked. They're connected with each other. You can't just play around with genes. This is a problem with genetic modification, by the way, GMO. Genes are networked. They're connected. They're linked. They operate as a team. Like everything in the body operates as a team. The body is a whole. It's a, uh, there's no separation in the body, and you can't take out a gallbladder and not expect the rest of the body to be messed up. Likewise, you can't remove a gene and expect the whole genome not to be messed up. These genes are linked. Genes connect to, or genes are responsible for various proteins. Scientists say they're pleiotropic, which means that one gene can affect dozens of different chemical reactions. One gene can produce dozens of different proteins. And you don't have a gene for this or a gene for that. Simplistic baby talk. It's not how genes work. Genes are networked. And what's more, genes respond to the inside of a cell and especially to the outside, the membrane, and the environment. Genes turn on and off. There's a small amount of genes in the genome, which is all your genes. There's a small amount of genes that are hereditary for your eye color maybe and your hair. Even those can probably be changed. But about 5 or 10, maybe 10% of the genes are are permanent. But 90% of them are turning on and off responsive to the environment. So nobody has a gene for Alzheimer's disease, even though you'll hear people say this. There's a gene that's associated with Alzheimer's disease, but sometimes people get Alzheimer's disease. Sometimes they don't, and they have this gene. It's called the APOE, uh, APOE4 gene. One in five people carry this APOE4 gene for Alzheimer's, but people get Alzheimer's with or without the gene. Genetics is res- uh, involved, but the genetics is responsive to the environment. Sugar will change genetics. Lack of oxygen or oxygenation will change genetics. That's really what we're talking about here when we talk about the power of nutrition, the power of thought, the power of, uh, uh, of emotions and feeling, the power of oxygenation and respiration, the power of exercise, the power of rest. You don't need a doctor for any of this. Power of rest, no doctor required. Power of of exercise, no doctor required. Power of nutrition, no doctor required. Power of oxygenation, no doctor required. Power of detoxification or eliminating toxicity, no doctor required. All of these steps that we can do ourselves, this is the bright side, this is the good news, all of these steps that we can do ourselves work by changing genetics. So don't let anybody tell you you have the gene for this and the gene for that and don't say it. It's not accurate. As far as Alzheimer's disease go, 
Think dying, rotting brain cells, period. Think cells that aren't doing their business, period. Think starving.